Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. He's, he's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. I'm so sorry. That sounds like a trying situation. I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just laughs at me as if it's a joke. No compassion at all. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that were possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever, especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you. to find the tomb near Brockborough and place Samantha's family crest on a sarcophagus there. High wing, go! Seems a pleasant enough little place. Past the high wing! I've always said that travel... Be strong, Alexandra.
mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? Well, my feet didn't turn into beans. That's a good start. Revelio. Should have known a herbologist would use Devil's Snare. Confringo! Lumos. A troll? You can't be serious. Expelliarmus! Confringo! Dago! Stupid! Expelliarmus! A sarcophagus. This must be Mom. That should reverse the curse. Hopefully. Revelio. Well, Marmaduke certainly left behind more than plants. Revelio.
Samantha will be glad to hear that the crest has been returned. What are you up to now? I am happy to tell you that I returned the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus just as you asked. I thought as much. I received word from St. Mungo's that my brother's feet are back to normal. No more beats. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. It wasn't too much trouble, I hope. Just a measly old troll. Nothing significant. A troll? Oh dear, I'm so sorry. That's awful. No one has been in that tomb for centuries. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been full of surprises. Indeed he was. Well, I suppose I should be going. I'm anxious to see my brother, who must be elated to have his feet back. Of course. I certainly would be. William and I are forever in your debt. Thank you again for what you did. 